Hi Aries, welcome to your December monthly reading. This is Alchemist Tarot, serving Tarot Straight Up. So we're doing things a little differently this month. I'm going to pull a card for overall energy, some actions, advice, any obstacles you might face, some outcomes, and then of course a card for each week. Um, and then in the extended version, which you can purchase a, a monthly membership for me, and you'll have access to see the money and the love portion of that. By the way, a membership gives you access to other exclusive content that is not on YouTube and um, other stuff as well, okay? so. Um, let's see what's going on for you guys for December. Come on, Aries. Okay. And by the way, Aries, I am filming on the 30th, so the day of the full moon eclipse. So a lot of really robust energy. Um, lunar eclipse is like a full moon on steroids. And really eclipsing everything out, kind of the last big haul um, before the beginning of the year. But I will tell you, um, lunar eclipse energy, eclipse energy can last six months after. So you might be feeling the impacts, you know, into the into uh, year 2021. Okay, Aries, let's see what's going on here. So for this month, you know, we have the Hermit card. Nothing wrong with that. Hermit card, Major Arcana, is ruled by Virgo. So really kind of taking some accountability on some things that maybe have slid a little too long. Looking at how you can organize, get things ready to go for the new year. I really feel like a lot of you have some pent up energy and you're kind of like ready just to bust. But ultimately you kind of know that there's some things that you need to like work on and work through and kind of get organized and and. Um, in a good place so you can mentally enter the new year with, you know, a bang. So also, Hermit is also being a little bit more introverted this month. You might be kind of, you know, whether if you were around family or friends for uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving holiday or just not really looking to be around a whole lot of people for, you know, the holiday season coming up. Nothing wrong with that. We're in a pandemic, so probably very smart anyway. Um, but I see that you, you're really taking some time to yourself and really evaluating things, really looking at things and seeing where you want to put your, your passion, your fight, your energy, and not just, you know, giving it out freely to everyone, okay? So action advice, you know, you got the sun card in reverse, but what I have to tell you, the sun card in reverse is not a bad card at all. It's very positive. I would say that, you know, Aries, this is about you. This time is about you. And this is, and, and Aries, you're really good about making yourself a priority and, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I do feel like, I think you have been probably overcompensating in certain areas of your life where now is kind of you're really looking at how do I actually fix things instead of putting stuff under the rug. Hence the reason this hermit card is so strong where you're actually really evaluating what you need to do. And you know, the sun is about how to strategically plant your seeds, where you want to put your focus in and, and how you want to move forward instead of just running through the gate and then thinking afterwards. So this is it's kind of taking a step back and, and thinking out a, a plan of attack, if you will. So really good action advice. Obstacles that some of you might face. Okay, first and foremost, obstacles, whether this is something you've recently gone through or going through now, you got the Three of Swords, which is the Heartbreak card. Now, the Three of Swords doesn't necessarily mean third party as in cheating. For some of you, it might. But you also got the Seven of Pentacles, planting your seeds putting, you know, putting focus into one area. Now this could be areas that you're guilty of or you find yourself <laughs> being very focused on one area of your life and then kind of leaving the other areas to, to kind of dwindle. And um, whether that's friends and family or relationships or even work, let's say, or maybe you're really focusing on your, you know, your side hustle, your businesses that you're trying to launch and your corporate nine to five or your day job, you're kind of like, eh, I'm just there. Um, you know, I would just tell you that try to balance as much as you can. Um, you can't be everything to everyone, but what I will tell you is that you don't want to just put all your focus in one area of your life and let everything else go to hell. So really try to balance as much as you can and put your focus 
yes, in areas where you see growth, but also don't let friends and family and other folks in your life go unnoticed, okay? They care about you. There's nothing wrong with picking up a, book, a phone or texting and just saying, hey, you're not forgotten. I'm there. I just, I'm working on some other stuff, okay? So just communicate. Overall outcome, though, I got to tell you, this month and heading into the new year, you got the star card. Really solid energy and actually very, very powerful. Um, this is really aligning, getting yourself in the right lane, getting yourself organized, getting yourself focused. This is about wish fulfillment. This is about being, you know, putting yourself on your soul's purpose, your path that you're meant to be on. And I also feel like you're starting to understand that you have to, you know, I'm saying this because the water bearer, this is ruled by Aquarius, by the way. You have to know when to put emotion into something and when not to, and kind of what battle to fight and which one you, that you need to just ignore. Fighting every battle is not going to win the war, okay? So be strategic. So it's, it's about choosing your battles and knowing what to put your focus in and what not to, okay? First week, we got the full card in reverse. I would say that this is probably the energy that you're not gonna want to just like start and do anything and take off and launch something. Um, makes sense after the eclipse. This is really about kind of letting things purge out still and then see what the, there's to work with. But I wouldn't necessarily start or don't get impatient that things aren't like taking off. You know, this is there's a rhyme and reason for why things are the way that they are. King of Wands in the second week, coming out strong, your own energy. King of Wands is very confident, very secure. You know, I have to tell you, if you've been waiting on money, if you've been waiting on, you know, um, maybe more insights on your business or launching, you know, if you're becoming an entrepreneur, you're, you're launching something, I would say that this week you're going to have a lot more information available at your fingertips. Or you might have a little bit more confidence or things are starting to iron themselves out a little bit more where you now know which path and, you know, kind of like the clutter has been removed. So really good stuff there. But overall, the King of Wands is very confident and, you know, seeing you kind of, you know, taking charge and this is where I want to go and nothing's going to get in my way. Third week, four of wands in reverse. I, you know, third week, like I just say, I, and this is kind of this obstacle area, it, things at home could be a little challenging. Maybe that you haven't been as focused and checking in on people and or that your significant other or your loved ones, you know, kids might feel like they've been out in the, out in the cold, out in the wind. So definitely make some time, maybe that third week to spend more time with your loved ones, friends, family, just check in. There's nothing wrong with taking a couple hours off of whatever your priority is and and making sure that other people know that you're still there and you love them and you care about them, okay? Because it's easy to get taken. It's it's easy to it's easy to misconstrued on what your focus is and maybe that you've been so passionate on one thing that other people feel like, you know, you've forgotten about them. That's not the case. Fourth week, nine of swords in reverse. You know, this is nice energy because in the reverse, nine of swords is, you know, the shoulda, coulda, woulda, I wish, I hoped, I, I, I should have done that. You know, dwelling on the past, this is really starting to kind of not become such a burden or in the for, forefront of your mind anymore. You're really starting to look at things more in the present, in the now. The past is in the past. I've learned my lessons. Hopefully, if you haven't, you know, really address those. You know, what I did in the past doesn't mean that it's going to resurface again in the future. And if it does, I'm smarter and wiser and I know how to tackle it. Um, you know, Nine of Swords is also is that I think for many of you, and if you haven't been staying up on a workout, you know, schedule, or you haven't been maybe doing some cardio or lifting weights or, you know, whatever the case is, something to activity to release some pent up frustration, I would say start to get back into it or stick to it this week because the nine of swords, that this is all mental, right? So you need something to kind of release all of that tension that you've been probably holding within. So again, physical activity for you Aries is always wonderful. It helps you kind of de-stress, decompress, get centered, recharge, and I would really recommend that in this fourth week if you haven't already, but keep up with something physical so you're able to kind of just like remove all that gunk out of the way. Overall, this looks really good month for you. Um, like I said, I think you're doing a lot of introspective work, which good for you, Aries, always good to see. Um, so have a wonderful holiday season if you celebrate. And if you're interested in purchasing the membership to see the extended version, to see the money and love portion of December, head on over. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.